morning, get things going here, and my pH was at like 7.2, so I got myself a, a lime, and I'm giving myself some lime juice, drawing that pH down, and right away, I'm down to like 5.3, and I'm going to mix this up, so I added a little bit of lemon here, it's not lime, lemon, bring the pH down a little bit, it's been soaking now for roughly almost 24 hours. And when I came in this morning, my pH was at 7.2. So I kind of wanted to change that. So now I've got it down to 5.8, 5.7. A little bit of lemon juice, guys. A little bit of acidic and bring that pH down. That's what I'm doing it naturally. That's what I, uh, remember I was talking about how I didn't have any pH uh, up or down. I have up, but I don't have any pH down, so. I'm going to have a lemon. A little bit of lemon juice. Getting that pH at the proper level there. So that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm getting this pH down. And I'm going to kind of soak up this medium. We're going to get to the next step. So this grow pedal. And uh, learning all about grow pedal, pre-soaking it and getting it pretty much ready for its uh, for the roots. So there we go. We're getting the pH down. I'm going to keep this pH around, it says between 4, 5, and 5, 2. So right now I got it at uh, 6, 3, 6, 2. A little bit of lemon juice this morning. I get that pH down nicely to where I like it. And uh, I figure, eh? A little bit of lemon juice bring your pH down. Baking soda if you want to bring it up. Easy to naturally, and that's, I mean, we're doing small crops here, so it's really not that bad, but I mean, if you're getting into doing some big grows, you might not be using lemon juice. But to keep this uh, whole thing a little bit going here in the organic way, in a way, get this all nicely stirred up. Get that going nicely. See how that lies. Get that pH levels down. That's what I'm looking at doing here right now. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna start prepping this grow medium. We got our ones rooted here right now. Let's up, guys. Getting the grow pedo going. So it's really interesting to see how that pH came up so high, to be honest. Because when I did the whole medium, we did all the mixing, it was 6.1. And it come in this morning, you see my pH at 8. And I'm trying to bring that pH level back down because that was way too high. Something I'd like to find a little bit more interesting about is why my pH levels came up so high overnight. So um, there's a question. Someone might be able to answer. I was soaked medium in water and, it, and, and, and with dual fuel. And my pH right now, I can't seem to get it down. It's, it's up at 7. And I don't like it being up at 7. So I added the lemon juice. And we'll let this sit for a little bit. We'll come back and see what the pH levels are. I mean, uh, I might have to rinse this whole thing out. I, I don't know why the pH levels are up so high this morning. Maybe like bringing this stuff up. So they, they, they advise to put this into a washing machine. I don't have a washing machine to do this with, so we're gonna go to the next steps. But uh, it's definitely interesting. I would not want to put this in my washing machine because it feels like you feel like this rock in it. It is a mineral sponge, right? It is a mineral sponge. So, yeah, grab some of this water out of here. Just like that. We'll throw our gauges in here. Look down there and take a look at our water levels. But once again, my pH is at 7.6. So, doesn't make any sense at all. And I cannot be growing my plants in a pH of 7.6. No way. So, we're going to work on this, guys. We'll be back. Using Grow Pino. And like I said, the pH overnight went up to like 10. So now now I'm redoing this whole thing. I have no idea why guys. So right now I'm just going to kind of soak this out like this. 
every little bit. And get all the water out of here. I'm going to move the camera up so you can actually see me. So, uh, I don't know why. I, I really want to find out why. My pH levels were perfect in here when I left. I added some lemon juice. It was at 10. Now I'm at 7, 9. Way too high. So, and all I did was add the dual fuel and the girl pedo. So I'm kind of carrying some of this on mineral rock. Maybe the reason why my plant wasn't taking off in the beginning very much is because I didn't soak the, the grow pedo, right? So I'm learning, just like you guys, to break this apart quite nicely. But I'm going to re-soak this so I have a pH level differently. So it's just kind of like a bit of a pain, but I can't have this at pH 8. There's no way my plants won't uptake, they just won't grow. So we're going to redo the cold soaking medium. Re-soak it at pH 4 or 5. Like it says in the video. Maybe that was the reason why when I pre-soaked it at 6, it went up to 7, 8, 9. Maybe they anticipated it was going to go up. I don't know. So they tell you to put this into a washing machine. I'm just going to bring it up with my hands. A lot of people don't have a washing machine to put their grow mediums in or cement mixer to mix up their uh, soils. Yeah, 8.3, 8.2. So it's definitely really hot. There's some questions around that. do this guys sorry the way things are so you can see what's inside of the grow pedal kind of like little beads kind of like you know like little rocks but you can see the color of this water after soaking it and I'm just basically pulling this out of here like that and just kind of soaking it in like that all the water out of it you can see it's got all of the little spun little minerals in there too. So, so once said and done, and this is being rinsed, this is what this is looking like right now. You see all the little pieces of mineral all in there. That probably charges the pH up, that's what I'm thinking. So that's why we're gonna re-soak this in another solution again. I'm gonna do a two soak just to make sure. Because I want that medium, I don't want the pH where it's sitting at right now. So we soak that overnight and we get up in the morning and our pH was at 8.7 really really high so you can see it's milky uh, I really want to change that so I'm going to re-soak this medium again and just water because uh, I've already soaked it with the nutrient and I'll also do the dual fuel again but I'm going to bring the pH down this time to like 4.5 like it says in the video of Grow Keto uh, so I'm going to go get some pH down I'm going to need that and I'm going to come back here and we're going to redo the soaking so the first soak brought from 6.1 up to 8.9 8.10, it was at 9, 9.5, so it was really, really high this morning, so we tried the lemon juice, we didn't have enough of it, so now we're going to redo this whole medium again, because we want to ensure that it's going to be a good root zone for our plants, 
So um, next step, guys. You know what? We gotta just this is, this is us working together and finding out about using a grow medium new that I've never tried before and seeing these next steps. Let's go get some uh, pH down and do this again. Okay, so we unsoaked the grow pedo, and that's what we're looking at, guys. Pretty interesting stuff that's inside of this grow medium right here. There you go. So, well, we did that little check and we saw our pH really high. So what I got, myself some pH down. We're going to re-soak this right now. And I was taking a look at that there. It was just kind of curious. That's the mineral because it's spun mineral rock, right? So it's kind of an interesting grow medium. We got to pH that properly. So we're going to start doing the pH. And as always, we're looking up on our clones. I see some more roots coming out there with a... Uh, with the gel now so that's really good to see so it took a little bit longer for the gel let's get some water let's ph this properly and of course what do i always do i clip you guys in that's what we do we get the clip in so um back at her again getting right into here of course just got the one leg going on here and our transplant's going let's ph this at like about four 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 five to 5 pH and let it soak overnight. We'll get right back in here with this grow medium again. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to re-pH this and get right back at it. Exactly what Grow Peter told me to do in the video. But it had the pH down. And now we saw that we went at 6.1. We came back the next day. It was almost at 9. So now we'll redo this again and see where our pH levels are tomorrow morning. Once again, we're going to re-soak this at 4.5 like they asked me to. And we'll come back in the morning and see where it lies. So we'll just get right back at it. Pretty much, I'm going to um, just basically fill this up here with water, pH it, and add this right back into it again. There we go. Making me happy. pH meters again. Let's get this stuff going down. pH is at, let's see if you get that really nutrient, is at zero, zero. My temperature is at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, that's actually pretty hot. Actually, no, that's a lot. It's going to go down, actually. Okay, so my pH levels right now are at 7.2. Now we want to get this pH down to probably about four, five, five. So um, I'm gonna just use a couple drops to start, guys. Let's kind of see how things work with it. Get that pH already down seven three, seven two, seven one, seven five nine, five eight. It's soaring down there pretty good. But we're gonna add a few more drops again. So, it's asking for a low pH to start this, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to set this pH properly, and then we're going to come back in the morning and retest the pH once we soak this medium and see where it lies, because we already did that the first time, and I was really concerned about that, so you know what? Try it a second time. So we already know that this medium is already being pH at about 7, 8, so hopefully we can bring that pH down. We're at 6, 7, 6, 6. So I'm just doing a few drops at a time because I don't want to overdo it. That was more like five drops actually. Six two, six one, five nine, five eight. My temperature is at 63, which is what I always like to feed my root zone out. Ooh, 59 actually, it's a little bit cooler. So that will warm up. EC is at 0.1. And my pH, once again, is down to 5.655. Five, five. So we want to see that down to 4.5. So we're going to go down a little bit lower. A couple more drops. Let that settle. We're going to throw this medium in here. We're going to come back in the morning, 
because we really want to ensure that this grow pedo is done properly. Hey, it's a new grow medium, and we're testing grow medium against grow medium. Regular Pro Mix, well it's not regular, it's the HPCC, so the new Pro Mix that actually has extra Coca Coir in it. So that's actually quite new, oh it's a new product, it's been out for about a year. My pH level now, here you guys go, 4.7, 4.6, you wanted me to start at a 4.5 pH, 4.6, there you go, you can see that, I can see it, maybe not. So this makes me a lot more happier, so we're going to start this whole thing again, we got a pH at 4.6, Steady at 4.6. 4.6, you see that? Damn, 4.5. 4.5, that's what we were shooting for, guys. I want to start my pH at 4.5, so that's what we're starting at. We're at 4.5 pH. Pretty much, now I'll open it down to 4.4. Four. Now we're just adding this grow pedal back into soaking this again overnight. I'm going to get this all nicely soaked up. Let's see where this all lies. You see how I've rang this out, so it's just kind of quite quite the same way as what we did before. We're getting this medium all soaked again. This is working out pretty good. Okay, we've soaked this grow medium, we've put it back into the into this bin, we've re-soaking it. My pH level right now, before I come back in in the morning, right now it says it's at 5, 5-1. Five, so, let's come back, 5-1, five, 5. Let's see what this soaks like, and uh, we'll let this soak overnight again, once again. Now, before I use 50 mils each of the dual fuel, because they want me to pre-soak it. So we're going to put a little bit of nutrients in there again. We're going to get the new fuel out, guys. And uh, we're going to go with 10 mils this time. So 10 mils of dual fuel part one. You want to have nutrients in this grow medium. 10 mils of dual fuel part two. three was at zero and my pH is at 5.1 and my temperature is at 57 so we'll see where things lie in the morning guys we'll come back here and we'll take a better look again ah, had a snowstorm last night okay let's check this pH out guys I'm just curious now okay so last night we left here pH was at pH 4 and this morning 8.2. So now I'm going to do some reading and find out more about this and reasons why this pH is going up so high. I'm kind of curious. Why is my pH at 8.2? So we're going to do some more research on that, guys. I just want to do another soak. That's two times soaking. Um, we're at 8.2 pH. My EC is at 0 0.2 and my temperature of my water is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So there you guys go. Uh, we soaked it overnight again and the pH is reading 8.2. 8.2. So I'm going to definitely figure out why that is and uh, find out more about this grow medium. Happy New Year guys. Getting in here. It's a new year. 2017. And this is going to be the 2017 grow room we've we'll all been waiting for. At least I've been waiting for. Because i gotta, I got I to gotta grow some medicine for myself. So, you know what? I'm taking a better look at these other clones now. As we're starting to get into the new year, we're getting these. Ooh, explosion. I love seeing this. Okay, so we're getting more and more roots in here as we're going. This is nice. Look at this overnight. Look at that. So, so, look at that. Not beautiful, not just roots. 
So this is the gel. So the gel took a little bit longer than the stem root powder. We saw the powder root really quickly. Now we're getting the gel is rooting and it's exploding. So good to see. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm getting lots of rooting on this side. Thumbs up on that. So of course we'll be planting away. Let's take a look at these. I should bring it over here. This is what happens. So let's take a look at how great these clones are doing, right? So as you can see, clones are doing great. I've got my water bottle here. Why? Because I'm always misting the top. So this is what I'm doing like twice a day right now. I give it a little bit of a mist. And we're allowing those bottoms to dry out. And as that's happening, you can see we're getting roots. You can definitely see the roots happening in here now. Boom. See? Roots. Roots. They're just coming up everywhere. So, oh, right there, you've got roots popping in there now. So, we're definitely getting, I always get 100% success rate with my, well, not 100, 98, 97, depending. And then last time we did those five, only three took the ones that we really needed. Um, that was doing the different grow mediums again when I did uh, the turbo cloner versus the peat pucks versus uh, the... Rockwell peeps. Anyways guys, we're taking a really good look at this grow medium and uh, we've been soaking this overnight. We already came in here and took a lot of the first thing this morning, but here we are right now. We're at 7.7. .7. So I'm going to drain it, I'm going to clean it, and we're going to plant in four of these. And that was kind of the deal going there, so I've done all the checking on it. And we'll do like a flood and drain type system as we do a bit of feeding with this. I'm learn a little bit more about this grow medium. It's at 7.7 seven right now. Um, we're going to get in here and get this done. So, clip you in. Now, last time I did this, I kind of rang it out one piece at a time, but right now, I'm looking for my mug. The mug. You always want to make sure that these gauges don't get dry. So if you're gonna let this sit out and this gets dry, you're gonna wreck your probe, you probe pretty much garbage after that. So make sure it's always in a wet solution, keep it wet. Um, that's what you gotta do, guys. So they recommend using a washing machine. We, we discussed the washing machine method. I don't have one. So I'm wringing it out by hand. And I put it right into the right into the pot. So that's how we're going to do this. We're going to kind of squish this out. I'm going to get rid of all this water. I kind of want to re-soak it again one more time. I have like a pH 4 or 5. I might do that. I might just let this run out because I'm a little concerned about being pH 7 7 to be honest. So, um, kind of get more into that. So as it stands right now, the roots, the clones are doing fantastic. We got that going. We're doing the grow medium. See how these ones in the background start to really start to take off. We're doing the 315 watt Endomax and the Stutzel King LED. And we're gonna get these Gavitas going really soon, guys. Just want you to stay tuned. Tell you what's going on. Wishing everybody a happy new year. We're gonna come at you really strong this year. We're gonna kind of get into this room and really kind of go over a few different methods. I'm gonna get my nemesis again in here because we want to make sure we're being preventative. So I'm going to put that into the next feed. Um, welcome 2017. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to keep working away in this room. We'll keep you updated over the next couple of weeks. And uh, soon, we'll see this room full of Medi Kush. And the next time. So I got to think it's a lot of work. So my trusty one gallon. 220 old bag. Into here. This is what we call getting shit done. So, this is an idea. Oh, you know what? I really, really, really don't want to sit here and be doing this. So, let's see if this works. Okay, <laughs> Here we go. 
So I'm going to drain the water out of this properly. I'm going to test the pH in here again. I'm curious. We're going to do this stuff together. We're learning this new grow medium and maybe it's the way I'm soaking it, but I'm, 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 I just want to be... No, no. This is a really good idea. I'm just thinking out loud. Like, it kind of... I'm sitting here thinking, like, how can I fix this? This just doesn't seem right, right? Like, what can we do? Well, let's utilize what we already have. I said hash to water. Why don't I just put the pump in the bag? The 220's the work bag I'm working. So I'm not wrecking the bag. The 220 bag. Okay. There you go. That's it. Put it in the bag. That works pretty damn good. So a little, um, little thing for the grow pedo growers out there. If you want to drain it, you don't have a washing machine. This is going to be your next best deal. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a great little uh, lesson that we're all learning right now because uh, I am. And uh, pretty much half the same. That's how we all learn together. My head cut off. As you can see, how this is draining right now, it's just sucking away from the side, but it's definitely pulling that whole thing through. It's pretty cool of how that's working for us right now. No? work on here. I'm sure you guys can see what we're doing here. You can just pack it around with that. So there you go. Draining the grow pedo um, with all the wash machine. As you can see I'm just pulling it towards me and getting it all in there. And Slowly getting all the water sucked into the medium here. That's about done, guys. There you go. And that would be uh, getting that done. Ooh, a little bit of a close up. How oh, great that one's doing. There you go, these are the ones we just transplanted yesterday. They're one day in. A little deficiencies just when they were rooting, so those will actually change over the next couple of days. But there you guys go. And uh, next up, rooting these guys put these in the pretty bags. much dumping that water there that sucked up really well so that was easy the ph is now at seven so you know what i'm just gonna fluff this in and get it into the into the grow medium i mean into the pots here and we're gonna transplant those four right here one two three there's our test ones you can see the roots they all look fantastic they all look healthy and nice. Same as say four of those down there. We'll get this grow medium going. We're pumping out the old water. And uh, we're supposed to fluff this up, get into the pots, and we'll do some transplanting, guys. So that's what we're doing here right now. We saw the pH is down to like 6.9 now, so that's good. So I eh, see how things are reading. Best uh, going with what we're told here. So there we go. And we're going to continue doing what we love to do. Okay, guys. So uh, a little bit from the grow pea, guys. I said, you know what? So we've rinsed this out. I've, I've kind of basically... I'll squish this out with my hands like this to get rid of almost all the water. But it's really amazing that you can feel how moist this water is because even though this is want you to fluff it up. <clears throat> so it says get the medium going, fluff it all up, rinse it out. See how it's got lots of air in here and stuff like that too. I guess that's what these uh, little sponges are, just applying more air to the roots and stuff in there. So that's what I've done. 
Now, I've noticed in the bottom, we saw that in the little thing, it was a lot of the, the spun minerals in the bottom there and stuff like that. So I'm pretty much going right into this and this, you know, kind of fill this part up. Wow, it's heavy. Get the pot about right there. Really, really heavy. Feel how much water is in there. Grab my clone. Got it like this, guys. I'm just gonna kind of move it around to the sides here a little bit. Sorry, you can't see this. That's all I'm doing. I'm just kind of moving it off to the edge of the set, right in the middle there. There you go. So I'm just kind of setting it in the grow pedal stuff like that there. And I'm just kind of doing that. That's transplanting with the grow pedal. That's pretty much about it. And I set her down. So there you go. We got the pro mix right beside there. That isn't going to settle anymore. I could top off the top a little bit more with some dry stuff like they were saying. So we got enough probably. I'm going to say here. To maybe do three. So we'll get in here. You can see how I've kind of fluffed this up a lot. And how it is. And how moist it is. You can see how much water is still in there. You know I'm wringing it out. So according to this I'm not gonna have to actually feed or water my plants for the next like seven to ten days so I can pretty much see how those uh, roots are gonna take off we saw that with this one right here so remember that one there that's the big mom right there right now so let's transplant more of these ones we're gonna get these two into this medium <laughs> 